Hi, Emma. It's Carrie. You're probably standing here right now at the wrap party wondering what video I'm putting on. <laughs> and it's one you don't know about. For the past few weeks, I've been meeting up with the cast and getting everyone's input as to what this film and this opportunity has meant to them. I mean, I can only say that being on Quarter Lifers, for me, was a start and was an amazing opportunity. You took a chance on me and I hope that I gave you the performance you needed and it truly was my first film. So that is a huge thank you. <laughs> but aside from that, Adam, you set out to achieve a goal and to achieve a dream and something that seemed a really far-fetched thing probably when you were looking at a blank computer screen. But you kept going and you were tenacious. And now, you're standing at your own rap party. Who would have thought? The thing is, for you, this is an achievement you've gotten, but what you don't realize is this has been an achievement for a lot of people in your life. And those people want to take a moment to thank you. So without further ado, here is a video that's been made a little at a time with each cast and crew member from the movie. Enjoy. Adam, I just first want to say how very proud I am of you. And without getting too somber, I have to say, mention your dad and how very proud he would be of you as well. You took an idea and turned it into reality. You, you wrote the script in the play, Adam, and you finished it. Um, you turned just an amazing story into what's going to be a wonderful film. Um, you brought together this amazing cast and crew that I don't know how you brought them all together, but turned into a real family. You know, I watched you a couple times, and this group was amazing. And you brought that together. Um, I'm so proud of you, Adam. Stay with your passion. Finish this up. Everyone needs to see this. Um, I'm so proud of you. I love you, and. Uh, Congratulations. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Oh. Hey, Adam. How you doing? Uh, well, this is awkward. I don't really like cameras too much. Uh, get a little nervous. So. Clean. Hello, Bobby Dodge. Hey, how are you? Surprise! <laughs> Hi, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. How are you, bro? Hey, Adam. This is Jason. I was told that I had to make a video to say thank you for... I don't know. Um... What are you looking at? Just want to say thank you very much. Excuse me, let's take a second. Um, just want to say thank you very much for giving myself, uh, myself, no, me. Um, how did you like working on Quarter Lifers the movie? Oh my goodness, that was the worst film I've ever worked on. The directing was horrendous. The worst director I've ever worked for. The writing was terrible. There was no professionalism anywhere on the set. Can I get a drink already? Adam Faulkner. You tell your lady friend he still owes me money. He never did fucking pay me for that movie. You tell him I'm coming round with the boys on Monday morning. And if he ain't got it, he's gonna be 200 pound a grand round. Yeah, I know, honey. I'm talking to Amory. What are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm getting in my zone. And that what you call it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, um, well, actually, it's transference. Um, identifying with the character that I'm playing by drawing from circumstances and feelings from my real life. It's called the Hakuta Matagan process. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Huh. Uh, actually, I think that's the Buddha Hagen process. And um, anyway, we're doing just a thank you video, so you don't need to come anyone else. You can just be yourself.
think that I have grown as a person because of this film. I think I've grown as, I mean, fuck, I got rid of Angela. Fucking cunt. It was a great project to work on, felt very professional, and it was really, truly, uh, It really, truly was uh, an honor. Um, this isn't gonna be on the big screen. No, it's, but it's gonna play at the rap party. Um, who are we thinking? Adam. Adam Fortner. The guy that we did a film with. I the love director. that guy! Yeah. Yes! Uh, Adam. Oh, Adam! Hey man, I just want to tell you I had a blast working on Quarter Lifers the film. You were the best director I've ever worked for. You were so professional and you had everybody in line. Absolutely wonderful. You're a great director, great actor, screenwriter, and it was just a privilege and an honor for me. And I just know that wonderful things are coming your way. It's and been I can't my wait. My extreme to pleasure and honor to be a part of Quarter Lifers. As I said, the, uh, the production that I just was on for five weeks couldn't even touch this one. Um, crew that you brought together were amazing. The cast, right down to every every extra that you had. Uh, it just shows your wisdom and experience and how you know yourself so well. Um, and it's going to carry on into everything else that you do. Adam, we just want to say that um, we can't thank you enough. It was meant so much for us to be able to work on Quantum Leapers. Of course. Was, she means of course you mean quarter lifers. Quarter lifers. Where was I? Anyway, Miss Picky. Well, caught me the one of one of the most glamorous moments I see. I love the character uh, I play. <laughs> However, I really think I should have been playing the part of Riggs. I'm just saying. You could start in a sequel to your own movie. Quarter pounders! <laughs> that was funny. What we want to say is that. Working on Quarter Lifers has meant so much to me. Us. Meant so much to us. Um, being able to play a lead character in a film has always been a, a dream of mine. And when your character, Riggs, Ryan, was in the park. Riggs. Riggs. Riggs was in the park and saying how much he just wanted to put his life in the hands of fate. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't. That was my character. I played Claire, remember? You played the secretary. You know what, you are so picky. You're always caught up in all these details and I'm trying to one up. Anyway. Uh, <coughs> let me tell you something. Working with you on Quarter Lifers was an amazing experience. Knowing your history, you have to excuse me, a lot of dust. Hey Adam, I've got a new career choice now. I'm running for office. And I did get you something for your birthday. I didn't forget. I wouldn't do that. Happy birthday, buddy. Check out those babies, huh? Adam, I don't know how you worked with her. I mean, I know you worked with Ryan, but I don't know how you worked with her. Um, so... It's amazing what we do to keep these careers going, isn't it? I mean, standardized patients, a janitor in a theater, uh, building sets, whatever it takes to keep it going. But as I was saying. Thanks again for allowing me to play Claire. I mean, obviously, it was me. I mean, <laughs> I was the one that made out with Alan. Adam. Alan. And Alan. Well, you didn't know. You were not Claire. You, you were the secretary. I was, I was Claire because we made out for five and a half hours. I missed another shoot because I broke out on my face. But, um, couldn't be there at the party to uh, wish you congratulations and uh, as well as everybody else in the cast and crew. Working with you on Quarter Lifers at such a young age, and I, you have, you got to realize you're younger than my kids, okay? You have the drive, you have the passion, and you have the determination to succeed. What's really nice is that's the cake. That's what it takes to succeed. Plus that you happen to be talented, good looking, six foot plus, 
And, you know, as my wife saw a picture of you, a babe magnet. Uh, yeah. This was a rash from making out uh, with Alan's beard. First of all, it was Adam, not Alan. Adam. And you told me that was a zit. Hello? Still scarred? Still scarred? There is no scar there. Who's you? Um, hello? If you were here, we'd go in for that. Oh, you know I was Claire, don't you? Because <laughs> you're a smart dog. Your mommy was Claire. She knows. She knows who her mama is. Who's your mama? It was a pleasure working with you. Very stimulating, I'm sure. Little hairy, but that's how you like them. You agree to disagree. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll keep that little backroom uh, <clears throat> session that we had uh, to ourselves. So. Fine. Adam, I loved playing the secretary. It was an amazing role. Yeah. And I would love, love to be a lead in one of your next films. Like my mom. And so... I guess what I'm trying to say is that I thank you, I respect you, and I love you, man. Thank you. Just wanted to thank you for letting me be a part of Quarter Lifers. I know that this project is huge, and I know it's your baby, um, and just all the significance behind it. So thank you for letting me be such just a part of such a beautiful thing. Great, right, Adam. <laughs> What Brandy and I are both trying to say is that we really appreciate you including us and letting us share our dreams with yours in making this film. It was a wonderful opportunity. That was really nice. Not only did you write an amazing story, but you cast an incredible group of actors. Um, the crew, I mean, Anthony, Julio, Carrie, oh my gosh, I mean, there's not a one person who didn't give their entire heart and soul to making this movie uh, the best, uh, the best that we could, uh, which is wonderful. And thank you, Adam Fortner. It's definitely awesome seeing you follow your dream. Thank you, Adam. I'll be referring you for every production that I'll ever be working on. And I think that uh, we've not only solidified a great working relationship, but uh, we are certainly friends. And we will always be friends. And I'm very much honored to say that, because I don't throw that word around like a football like everybody, uh, like many people do. So thank you. Bottom of my heart. Thank you. Hey Adam, I do want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I had a great time. And to everybody who worked on this film, thank you so much. I'm very proud to say that I am a member, a cast member of this film. And Good luck and uh, hope you're having fun tonight. Thanks. So, what were you saying? <laughs> you revel in this moment because you learned it. And this is all about you tonight. But you need to take care, my friend. You have everything going for you. So, if I can ever give you any advice, just keep doing it. And doing it. And doing it. Treat people well as you want to be treated. Think of others as you want to be thought of, and just keep going. I mean, I'm proud to say that I was your dad. And uh, that's real hard to come for me because only my own children get that. So keep going. I wish you the best of luck with the project. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for letting me be a part of it. Um, Mm -hmm. Love you. I just want to say thank you for the awesome opportunity to work with you on Quarter Lifers. And I just wish you uh, continued success, my friend. Congratulations.
Oh, hell with it. I gotta go back sweeping, you know? The things we do for a living. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to be in quarter lifers. Thank you for the opportunity to meet your wonderful family and everyone in Southern Florida because, man, I'd be back there in a flash. So, excuse me, I have a living to make while you get to be a star. I mean, uh, when you need a pool cleaner, you let me know, okay? Because I, I really have to keep going with this, okay? Okay, you be good. Congratulations. You're the man. Can't wait to see the film. All right? Now, fuck off. And well, I guess you can see how much of an effect you really had on all of these people. Thank you for putting Quarter Life First together. Thank you for putting this cast and crew together. And again, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Now, there's just one thing. There was one person who submitted a video that didn't quite fit in with the rest. I mean, I think that kind of explains them, really. So without further ado, and to end the video, here's Julio Alvarez. <laughs> John takes a sip from the bottle as he sits at his desk. He grabs the gun and aims it. Safety got moved. That is loud. <laughs> <laughs> that is loud.